All right, guys. The shape, guys. Pretty good. No. 
No, no not really. Okay. They, they, uh, they went to get me this information, and then, uh, and then they gave this to me, and they didn't ask me to leave. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, I was trying to get one other thing is trying to find out how I get the uh, the cameras on the end processing unit for the uh, when you get in processing here because I was badly uh, beat up and in, uh, inside here and uh, and denied medical help by Department of Corrections as well. Tucson police started it and then they brought me here and then they strapped me down on one of them chairs and and uh, and made me stop breathing. And it was a week before when that happened, and that when that happened, I was saying, uh, you know, after that, someone's going to die in here. You know, the way you guys treat people when they come in, you know, someone that can't stand up, and you and you do that to them, and then a week later, someone died in here. So someone was killed inside here by uh, by one of your guards, and he was choked out too. But he wasn't in a chair when he was choked out, but he did die. And and I was really worried about that because I said that to several people right after I got out, that that's going to happen. And it happened, you know, because of the torture that happens in here. Okay. GoPro, start recording. All right. So. So, okay. so, so that's mainly what I was trying to do is get a, uh, to get a, uh, how, how do I get the body cams? Besides, this is an IA report. How do I get the body cams and, and the cameras that send the in processing and find out the guy's name? Well, as far as I know, we don't, a, we don't use body cams. Okay, the camera, the camera that was in processing, he told me he had it on camera. So when you come in on the in processing, is there cameras in that area where they, where they take you out of the car? I don't actually work in the jail, so I don't know yeah. what cameras they have there. I work out. Where do I get that information to find out how to uh, FOIA request that? And put in a stop for, from them stopping to uh, to uh, get rid of the camera. I, I need to uh, speak to somebody here about this. I was starting to, but I never did. All I got was the IA report. Okay, on Benson Highway. So the sheriff, Sheriff Napier's headquarters. He does the. They do the uh, the FOIA request for this facility also. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so, so this is all county. This is underneath. The 1750 East Benson Highway. So, yes. if you're interested, you need to get a hold of that. Napier. Right. So, the, the problem is you coming inside and recording here. Okay. Yeah, but there's no signs and there's nothing that says you can't record here. Right. So, but. This is, and it's the public on. lobby. I don't, oh, hold on. So, so, if they're asking you to leave, you need to leave, okay? Yeah. yeah. Look around, right. though. Yeah. Asking random people to leave. Oh. Right. But if, if these guys have a doctor. You this is private property. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this ain't private property. Right. Right, but you said you have to leave private property, another, you know, but this is not, here, yeah, okay. this is public property. Okay, so what's so you you're saying I have to leave from inside or even here? I can't even be here on well, Hold on, so, so what's your guys' information? Do you, do you have an ID? Nope. No. Hey, why are you guys no. surrounding them? We're not. Yeah, they are. As we're being flanked. Okay. We are yeah. All right. Sir, oh, I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to Napier when I make this request, but I am not going to give it to I'm going to give it to him. Okay, so, so here's the deal. You need to leave, okay? If, if you want to get a hold of that, call down to 1750s. Yeah. But just a tiny bit of research. These guys know my name. They beat they beat me down. Okay. So listen. So. You need to leave. Well, what's your name? What's that? So what's your name? I'm not going to give my name. I'm going to. I'll leave. But I I don't have. I'll give my name to Napier, when, or the IA. I'll give. I'm going to put all that on the report. So. So you and, want us to give you information, but you don't want us. Know your name? Uh, well, you told me I, you ain't giving me no information. I got to go over here to get it, so I'll give them my name. So you're not giving me no information. Right. They're telling they're not giving me nothing. Oh, they're telling me to leave, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave, but I don't. Uh... We're public members of the public, taxpayers who pay for this, and all other government facilities. We are not obligated to give you our personal information. You know, we're not in the course of our professional duties like you guys are. In which case, you obviously you know you have to ID. So. And we pay your salary, so I mean, come on, guys, we're not we're not trespassing on private property. You can't say that. You know that. Well, you, you haven't asked to leave, though. So asked on what grounds? They asked you. To Are leave. we doing anything illegal? They asked you to leave. Well, because they don't like the way we look, or what? Do we smell funny? I mean, what's what's the reason? We're not causing any kind of a scene or problem. We walked in very quietly. He was at the kiosk in the far corner back there conducting business, by the way. He had official business. We didn't just walk in randomly, willy-nilly. I'm with him for protection, obvious for obvious reasons. Look at you guys. 
Um, you got the whole cavalry here. Um, so we didn't cause a problem. We didn't say a word to anybody. We No one said a word to us other than the woman behind the counter on the left, the African-American woman. Immediately, the door hadn't even closed behind me, and she was already barking orders for me to shut off my camera, or I would ask to leave. Well, it's, it's a public lobby, okay? Okay, well, so, so the issue is I don't think that you guys are trying to get information is the issue. Okay, I got to jump in here and go over some things. Basically, we've got two separate issues here, two separate questions. One, can we be there to uh, gather specific news information? Yeah. Second question, can we be there recording our public servants with no specific piece of information being sought? Yes. It seems that people don't have as big of an issue with the first question. I think most people understand that. The second question is where people seem to have problems, but the Supreme Court has ruled on this. In Mills versus Alabama, the Supreme Court has held that the protection and promotion of the free discussion of government, governmental affairs is a paramount First Amendment interest. Significant to that right, indeed, of highest importance, are the aims of preventing corruption and sustaining the active alert responsibility of the individual citizen in a democracy for the wise conduct of government. Thus, recording governmental activity, even if that activity is not immediately newsworthy, has the potential to prevent government abuses through scrutiny or to capture those abuses should they occur. Guys, the precedent has been set so many times, both in the Supreme Court and in every appeals court except for the First Circuit. What you're about to see these deputies do is a blatant, intentional violation of the law, and it will be executed by the threat of violence. That's not the issue. The issue is, yeah, it is. the information that we're trying to give you is that we don't have to give you, right? So well, that's you between you and him. This is this is his case, you know. Right. Okay. So I'm just here as backup. I'm I'm a friend. That's great. I'm a fellow, uh, you know, First Amendment auditor, and uh, we you know we try to keep you guys accountable and transparent. That's all we do. We're not here to cause problems, you know. That's great. But uh, hey, guys, we got another one rolling up here. Okay. Is he has he been made aware of that now? Okay. Because I had stepped away when you were talking. Okay. Well then, I guess. Smooth, great. Them, Sounds good. Guys out here, between us out here. Does great. That make sense? Absolutely. All right. We're not here to cause problems. We okay. don't. We don't have any ill will. You know, we're not. We're not here to cause trouble. So, anyway, it sounds like you you've already discussed with him whatever needed to be discussed. I had stepped away to get these guys' names and badge numbers. So, looks like uh, we're going to be moving along here. So, Perfect. all right. Thank you. You too. Stay safe. How many? One. Oh, look, it's the HUD. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Freeman. Eight guys. Look at the look at the piggy huddle, the corrections piggy huddle here. One. Well, sheriffs and corrections mixed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right. Eight people. I mean eight officers or deputies or corrections officers for for two people with cameras and then of course Freeman was you know back hanging back so I don't even think they realized he was with us initially so anyway thanks guys thank you for your support appreciate it so did you get all the information that you, that you could possibly get from these yeah. jokers? Just basically the IA. They, they don't give me no information. So. I know. He just told me, he goes, well, what, what he's needing, we don't have, we're not able to provide. It's like, all right. Corrections officers for. Alright, 
Huh? I think that they... I think that they... I think they're talking to you guys. Okay, we asked you to leave the property, okay? We're leaving. You asked us to leave the we're line. Leaving. That's not the property. Yeah, oh, we're leaving. We're, we're leaving. waiting for my ride. Okay. We're leaving. Well, no, rides. you haven't said a word to this guy. What's the problem? Are you picking and choosing who you pick on or what? Okay. I mean, we all have cameras, evidently, right? There's no deal. Shut up, dude. That's the this is, you, you're so wrong. I'll go on the public sidewalk and I'll call your boss to come out here and tell you what to do. No. What's that? Your boss already knows? What's your boss's name? Is uh, Sergeant Freddy. Sergeant what? Freddy. Freddy? Yes. Okay. Is he on his way out? Uh, as far as I know, he's not. Okay. So, uh, would it be sufficient for us to wait on this side of the wall for your uh, supervisor? Off of the, on the sidewalk, it's not our property. What about right here? That's clearly a public easement, but this is all public too, and you're so confused and honestly stupid that I really don't know what to do at this point. So why don't you tell me where I can stand while you get somebody who can so tell you what off to do? Of our property, on well, the sidewalk. Uh, so off, so the public easement right here is also a place that I can't okay, stand. Okay, here's the deal. If if you guys have an issue with the jail, nobody has an issue with the jail. Happy okay, now? but but listen, listen. Can I can I explain? Uh, I really don't hear it. Care to hear you explain? No. Uh, okay. The only thing that needs to be done is things need to be explained to you. Nobody needs to have any business with the jail other than filming the jail, other than recording the jail. That is what the First Amendment says. They don't need to have any other business in there other than documenting and recording First Amendment activity, okay? okay. It's, it's get new, uh, uh, news gathering, okay? Journalism, right? So you guys are interfering with that at this point and you've successfully bullied and intimidated all of us off of this property successfully violating all three of our rights so so now what do we do so you guys have been asked to leave several times asked yes but okay what would happen if we don't leave then it's trespassing what it then you do what then you it really depends on that point so you guys have to identify yourself you haven't identified yourself because it's part of an, an investigation of crime correct okay yeah are you aware that you cannot trespass someone from public property unless they've committed a crime okay so no, 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 that's a yes or a no question. Are you aware that you cannot trespass someone from public property if they have not committed a crime? Okay, so the, that's a yes the, or a no. The problem is that that's you, a yes or a no. You've been asked. To, that's a, I'm okay. making you aware right okay. now. Then your okay. your I, sovereign I, citizen immunity is now out the window. Okay, I'm now I informing don't. you that you have zero right to trespass anybody okay. unless so, they have so, committed so, so, a crime. So here's the deal. There's I'm, no deal. I'm, I'm There's not, no I'm deal. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. You clearly just want to argue. No, no, I'm no. Not gonna do argue? That, okay? Well, I mean, okay. So, 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 so I can either be over there or you'll do violent stuff to me, though, right? I, I never said that. Well, never what would you that. do? Okay. Because I wouldn't actually comply with anything you tell me to do unlawfully. So how would you get me to do it? Okay, so if, if there's a problem with the jail or whatever. I already told you there's no problem with the jail. You're, you're making stuff up. Sorry, that has nothing sorry, to do with anything. You're, you're making stuff up, too, okay? That hasn't... <laughs> okay, so so here's the deal. There's no deal. Stop saying here's the deal. We don't make deals with with thugs. We don't we okay. don't negotiate with terrorists. Okay. There's so, no deal. So you guys can stay off the property, <laughs> and we're going to leave. Okay. If you come back. Okay. Never have come to so you're personally. threatening that if we come on the property to exercise First Amendment right of journalism, all right. All right, that okay. you are going to what? Do violent stuff to us? Canodal, K N O D L E is the. It's Pima County Sheriff. Tyrant. Hey, get your uh, supervisor out here. For real, I'm serious. I need to talk to him. At this point, I'm furious, but look at my options. I have a court date that I absolutely have to be at tomorrow. If I stay on the property, they will attempt to arrest me, at which point I have two options. One, submit and go into custody willingly, or two, defend myself against an unlawful attack. The second choice would most certainly end in death for me. Since I refuse to be unlawfully arrested and have all of my property stolen yet again, I have two options really, and that is obey or die. With all the case law and precedent already set, it's clear that these cops just refuse to obey the law, and it's clear that they are willing to use any amount of force necessary to get their way. This has to do with them enforcing their arbitrary will at gunpoint. Are these cops? Or is this just a mafia? I, 
can't imagine why. Never mind. Oh. I'm shutting my mouth now. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Now, right? Yeah. Hey! I gotta get my car. <laughs> <laughs> the guy told me it's okay to get your car earlier when you had to climb the fence.